Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on this channel, we love our makeup with a fiery, burning passion, but we especially love using the makeup that we already have. We're not here for Instagram fame or TikTok fortune, though I do those things as well. We're just here for real makeup, for our real lives, and real people like us. So today's video I'm very excited to do, and it is all about using what you have because this is a Project Pan update. This is the Partners in Cream 2022 project, and this project was created by Steph Lyons and Delyn, who is Outward Processing here on YouTube. And the premise of the project is to work on your cream products. Anything but powder goes in this project. For me, I've been trying to do three more progress related goals like hitting pan or finishing a product and three like usage goals like use 22 times seems to be the magical number this year. So with all that said, let's get into it. So the first product, it is still hanging on. It is my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer of the shade Light. I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm making really good progress on this one and sometimes I'm not for sure if it will ever be done. When I look inside, I definitely can see some windows forming on the inside and, you know, see that there's not a lot of product down in the bottom part of the tube. It's mostly stuck to the sides here. I think if I really dedicate myself, I could probably have this done in a couple of months. But um, in the last month, I did use it nine times. My goal was 10, so I was just shy of that. And in April, when I updated, it weighed in at 16.27 grams, and today weighed in at 16.09 grams. So just a little bit of progress. I feel like that's how it is with concealers. Slow and steady wins the race, especially if you can't multitask it, which this one, I really can't. It is a very creamy and almost... I don't want to say oily because that comes off negative, but it is so hydrating that it would never work for anything on the face for my oily skin type. So for now, we're just going to keep on keeping on. And I'd like to set the goal to use it 10 times again for the next month. Next is my Honest Beauty Creme Cheek in the shade Rose Pink. The goal is to hit pan on this one. Definitely a nice dent forming in here, and I did use it eight times in the last month, including today. I love this blush. I'm not in the least bit sick of it, but I am ready to move on to something else. I really want to rotate through my cream blush collection more, and I feel like, I don't know, if I don't have pan by next month, I think I may go ahead and roll this out and roll something new in, only because I, the whole point of me project panning this year, my overall goal for project panning, shot my stash, all of that kind of thing is to give more love overall to my collection, not just to a handful of products that I use occasionally for the whole year. So I do feel like I'm getting close to hitting pan possibly, but we'll find out. It'd be really cool if I could hit pan before next month, but if not, we'll reevaluate then. Now we get to the fun part because we're gonna talk about foundation. I had rolled in in March three different sample foundations that I wanted to move out of my collection. The first one was a Lancome foundation. Love, love, love. It's on my wish list and it is gone. But the second one I decided to work on is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. And I really do like this, but it's a very full coverage and I am not a full coverage girl. And so I knew that I was going to have to mix this or make some kind of concoction in order for this to work for me. So I have been mixing it with the Say Glowy Super Gel that is also in this project, as well as different other foundations that are a little bit lighter in color as well as lighter in coverage to sort of thin this out. Well, finally, 
<laughs> this month, it kind of killed me that I cannot tell or could not tell how much product was left in here because I felt like I was just using this and using this and with no end in sight. So I did finally decant this into this little eye cream jar here. And then I added a good amount of the Say Glowy Super Gel. And then I also added in some of my Shiseido Synchro Skin Skin Tint, which is very light coverage and it's a lighter color. And I have to say that I love this combination. There's very little of it left. You might even be able to see that in the center there, you could see the bottom of the container, but I'm loving every minute of it. So it kind of messes things up in terms of weight for the foundation or what have you, but the empty component, I cannot pump any more out of this did weigh in at 10.19 grams and it started out at 12.40 grams so this is kind of a placeholder at this point point. and then after that one i will roll in or start working on rather the nars soft matte complete foundation in the shade fiji i don't even know how much is in here but um, it's not that much and I probably will do something similar like mix these two together and if I need to lighten it do that as well um, and just move through these I mean it's a Franken foundation as we like to call it here in the panning community is not a new thing but it's not typically something that I personally do and especially when it comes to like decanting things and putting them in different containers and all of that um, but I, I'm just really pleased and now I am extra motivated to work on this foundation because I can see the progress. So I, that is one thing I would definitely encourage for others that are working on foundations or products where you can't see through the packaging or you can't tell how much you're using. If you can, you know, put it in a different container where you can actually see your progress. I did over the last month use the combination with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation 12 times. So I think that's really good. I'm wearing it today. It's nice. It's I'm kind of glowy <laughs> at the moment, or at least it looks like it in the camera. I'm having a hair day. I'm just having a day. Okay. Any hoozle. So the Say Glowy Super Gel I used 15 times in the last month. I used it a couple of additional times just as like a highlighter. And last weighed in at 13.32 grams and now weighs 11.10 grams. I anticipate this will be gone by next month, especially if I do Franken the NARS foundation sample. So I'm excited about that. My goal was to use it 10 times. I definitely met that goal and I'm really excited about it. And then last month I rolled in a couple of new products. One was a different cream bronzer because I had met goal on my e.l.f. putty bronzer. And the one I rolled in was my mini of the Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelle. And I love this. I mean, I knew I loved this before, but I really, really love this. It has a slight rosy undertone to it that just makes it exceptionally flattering, at least on my skin. And I absolutely love this. I have no problem reaching for this every day, unlike I wasn't always excited to reach for the e.l.f. one. So I've been reaching for this every day, setting it with a powder bronzer or not, and I'm just really having a lot of fun and enjoying this. And the goal for this one was to use it 22 times, and I used it 10 times in the last month, including today. And it originally weighed in at 24.70 grams and now weighs in at 24.55 grams. Not a lot of product used. You don't need a lot of product. Um, but I anticipate that this will be done by next month, at least, or that my goal will be met by next month. And then I can roll in a different cream product, probably another bronzer. And I'm really excited about that because Again, that's the point. I'm trying to rotate through my creams and liquids. And then lastly, I rolled in last month one of my ColourPop Luxe Lip Oils. This is the one in the shade Bengal. 
and I used it 10 times in the last month. I mean, if you count every time I reapply it to my lip, I have far surpassed the 22 uses, which is the goal, but I just count each day as a use, and this is the lippy I currently am keeping down in my kitchen so that when I feel the need to reapply, it's right there. I have had it setting up, and it's all the way down to here. The rest of it, I can see, is very sheer. These are kind of deceptive, though, at how much product there is in there even once it gets down low like that because I have another one in my bedroom that I'm just unofficially working on. So I do see myself meeting my goal of 22 uses before next month and then we'll reevaluate. I might change the goal to finish it or I might roll something else in. One never knows what I'm going to do when it comes to project panning, do they? And that is it. I, you know, didn't have any goals met this month or anything to roll in or roll out, but that happens. And I'm just really excited about these products and really enjoying them. And that is pretty much all <laughs> the most I can expect from Project Panning is to enjoy the products that I'm using very much. And for me, it's kind of like giving myself a pat on the back as a project panner that I'm working on things that I'm actually enjoying and not hate panning things or panning things that I'm just not interested in using. I have way too much makeup to spend time panning products I don't like. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Let me know down below. Are you doing this project? How's it going? What other projects are you working on? Are you making progress? Are you loving what you're panning? Let me know all the details down below. If you did enjoy today's video, I hope you'll consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time as always. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video very soon.